Hey everybody, it's James Freeman. Today is day three of exposing Logan Police Department for trying to shut down free press. In today's video, Cache Valley Transparency is served with a summons for allegedly interfering with an arresting officer, as well as stalking Logan Police. Once again, this all stems back to this first video where Cache Valley Transparency was filming Officer Alvarez searching someone's vehicle. The summons claims that by simply recording Officer Alvarez in his official capacity, Cache Valley interfered with an arrest. As with most state statutes, the Utah statute he was cited with would have required him to use force or violence to interfere with an arrest. And because cops are stupid, the Utah statute, just like many others, has to specifically articulate that recording the police does not constitute interference. By this point, most of you know that I only show statutes and codes to show that the government made their own rules and then they refuse to even obey their own rules. I am simply trying to show you beyond a reasonable doubt that we do not live in a system of law and order. We live in a system of the guy with the biggest stick wins. And as we can see from this series of videos, the Logan Police Department and Cache County are both holding the biggest stick and have the most willingness to use violence against you to get what they want. He was also charged with stalking for recording Officer Alvarez in his official capacity. They claim that by Cache Valley Transparency showing up two or more times to record Officer Alvarez in his official capacity, he's committed the crime of stalking. That's right, I suppose you have the right to record the police, but you can only record each officer one time in your entire life. To record them more than once would constitute stalking. Yes, these are truly the extreme lengths that Logan Police Department and Cache County are going to to stop transparency. They decided to go and serve him with the summons while he was outside of the police department, live streaming and telling his viewers about the false privacy complaints that have been filed on his channel. Hello, Randy Olson. Got a summons for you. I want to talk to you. That's fine. You don't have to talk to me. We've just got a summons for you. Charges have been filed. It's not going to stop anything. So either you for what? take the summons and appear in court. For what? It's, uh, it's right here and you get a copy of it. For what? Oop, there it goes. What's the charge? The charge is interference with an arresting officer. You know that has to be a physical act, right? Yeah, there's your copy of the summons. Wow. Have a good day. You're a piece of shit, aren't you? More tyrant police officers here in Logan, Utah. Taking down my videos. You know what prior restraint is? You know what prior restraint is? I don't have anything further to say. Do you know what prior restraint is? Pile of shit. Nice Fuck off. Thanks for not taking my complaint, complaint serious, jackass. Wow. I just got a summons. I just got a summons for interference with an arresting officer. Um, this was, uh, the officer is Alvarez. So make sure you guys share out the videos of Alvarez. Alvarez. Wow. So I just got a summons for when I was recording police from a public sidewalk the other day, a couple weeks ago, they gave me a summons for interference. Wow, they do not know the law here in Utah. What? I don't get a high back. Are you willing to actually sit and have a conversation with me today? Uh, I, I'm busy right now, but I... See, that's what you always tell me. I've never told you that. Yeah, yeah, you have. Four times. I, 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 Four you times. You to drop everything and come talk to you. Well, so what are you doing that's so busy? I got work to do. Okay, well, I'm just asking to have a five minute conversation. About what? Are you willing to give me the time or are you just going to walk minutes. away telling me you're busy? Do you know what prior. Just wait for him to leave. 
Okay, what can I help you with? Five minutes. You got five minutes. Do you know what prior restraint is? No. You should look up what prior restraint is. Your officers are violating my civil rights. Did you look up what uh, freedom of press was yesterday after I talked to you? I know what the freedom of press is. So do you know everybody is a journalist anytime they want to be a journalist? Okay, so you told me yesterday that I wasn't press. I didn't say that. Sure you did. So prior restraints has to do with news and telling news where and when they can put information. Okay. So having your officers... You're you're, let me understand this. You're mad because my officers have gone to YouTube, com complained that it's a privacy issue, and your videos have been taken. How away. how is it a privacy issue? No, I'm just saying. I'm just trying to restate why that's why you're mad, right? Uh, did I say I was mad? Well, you indicated yesterday you were upset about it. Yes. Sure, it was yesterday. So now I'm trying to have a conversation with you okay. about it. Okay, I'm listening. Okay, prior restraint allows. Anybody to share news anywhere they want to, anytime they want to. Okay. The government prohibiting that news from being disseminated to the public is prior restraint, and that's a civil rights violation. It's a First Amendment violation. So those officers working for the city of Logan, working for the government of this area, having those privacy complaints put up is prior restraint against news that I'm trying to disseminate to the public. Well, that's, I think, just an opinion you have. That's not an opinion. That's case law from 1933. And I, would, I would tell you the same thing I tell other people that aren't happy with what Logan City does. I understand that. that is, but why can't you guys... A lawyer ...and file some type of paperwork with the city... But why can't you guys it? just fix the issues? So you want me to tell my officers that if they're not happy with how you portray them... On Facebook. How did I? I can't portray anybody let on any. Let me finish. Let me finish. That they don't have the right to go to Facebook to file whatever privacy issues. No, they, they don't. They, they don't. Have they, that don't. Right. they don't. They okay. don't. They work for the public. They are public employees. So, they do YouTube, not have the YouTube right. YouTube isn't a public pu public forum. YouTube control can control who and who does not have YouTube. Uh, who's on YouTube? YouTube is a private. I'm telling you right now. I'm trying to save you and the city a lot of stress from the lawsuits that will be coming your way. I'm trying to from let who? you do the right thing for from, me from you and my lawyers. Because I'm trying to let you guys do the right thing so in the first I, place. Me, I want to understand you completely. Your lawyers are going to sue the police department on behalf of you Yes. because a video you took of an officer two weeks ago got taken down from YouTube. Yes. I'm not a lawyer. That's prior restraint. I'm, I'm telling lawyer, you what it is. But that doesn't make a lot of sense. Prior restraint. I, I would suggest so, so let me ask you a question. If, if the Herald Journal wrote an article about you that you did not like, you could tell them to take it off of their webpage. You could tell them to take it out of the newspaper. You could tell them to take it off of their Facebook page. Is that what you're telling me? Um... I guess I could tell them. Now, whether they do it or not is up to them. So this is... We, That's what we prior ask, restraint is. We can ask, you cannot we can ask, do I, that. I, uh, one of my officers, on their own time, in their own place, from their so, own computer... So I have three privacy complaints that came up today within five minutes. You're telling me that the police computers were not used for those? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, don't, I have no contact with Facebook. I don't know... It's not Facebook, it's YouTube. YouTube, Facebook. I'm asking you, did your officers use and public no computers idea. to file those privacy complaints? I have no idea. You have no idea. So, no idea. can I get records of their internet usage from your computers? I don't know. I've never, we've never, I, I don't know that. I don't know that answer, Jamie. I don't, I, don't I don't have that answer. So you're, you're telling me that it's okay for an officer who's a public employee that there, there's many case laws on being able to record the police that I'm not allowed to do that? I think just by the fact that you're here recording me and the half the department when they go down the, down the sidewalk indicates that we are totally okay with you recording us. So then why do I have this in my pocket? 
Well, that's because uh, the county attorney believes that you violated the law. So why would the county attorney be representing the city? Why wouldn't the city attorney be doing that? Because the county attorney is obligated with enforcing the, the county attorney in this county is not only the county attorney, but it's also the district attorney. So the district attorney handles all criminal prosecutions. The city attorney strictly handles legal counsel for the city of Logan and doesn't do prosecution. That's the difference. So if I was to file a complaint against your department, I would go to the... Uh, So if I was to file a complaint against your department with the district attorney, which would be John Luthie. For what kind of complaint? I'm just asking you. Well, it had to be, it'd have to so, be a criminal complaint. Yes. Okay. So that wouldn't be a, like, him filing charges on me and me complaining about you guys to him. That wouldn't be an issue? Well, he gets complaints all the time, so I don't know if it is an issue or not. He has the right, you have the right to call anybody you want. So do, does your department believe I have the right to free speech? I think you're expressing that right now. Okay. So me talking to you and me talking to you yesterday, you were okay with me having free speech, right? Well, I don't think I've ever told you to be quiet, have I? Okay. okay. But in this complaint, that's exactly what is going on. Okay. Because I was standing on a public sidewalk, just like I, I have done all day today. Right? Uh -huh. All day today, well, I've been walking on this public sidewalk. Randy, I, I'm not going to go into the criminal complaint that's filed there. I think that uh, you have your day in court like everybody else. And if you think that those, those charges don't, don't have merit, then you need to appear in court and um, go from there. So do you, do you guys have a problem in your department with people coming and recording you? Well, I think we've been allowing uh, anybody to record us. So, so if I go cop watching, any time of the day, day, night, middle of the night, whatever. Your officers aren't going to have a problem with me that recording? No. Seems like it. I think you've recorded everything you wanted to record, right? Yeah, but now I have a summons in my pocket yeah. saying that I was obviously not allowed to record a traffic stop that night. Well, that's that's your view of what happened that night. Yeah, I, mean, I was not, I have the entire video, man. And obviously something else happened that caused the county attorney concerns and therefore criminal charges were filed. Sounds like you need to bring it up with the county attorneys. I gotta go. Good luck. As with all of the videos in this series, everyone is invited and even encouraged to download this video and re-upload it to your channel or any other social media platform you might have. The reason we're asking people to do this is because of the extreme measures that officers with the Logan Police Department as well as other city staff have gone to to try to have these videos scrubbed from the internet. Contact information if you have any questions or concerns for the city or the county is in the description below. Please also note that all of these videos are coming from Cache Valley Transparency on YouTube. Please make sure to head over to his channel, subscribe, and stay tuned for constant updates on his channel. I have put a link to his channel in the description and would ask that anybody else that mirrors this video please do the same. To the thousands of you who have already stood up to help with this situation and the dozens of you that have already reposted these videos, I can't thank you enough.